Hi, first of all, my fellow organic pick your own farm fans, we have a garden zoo, which is life, where magic meets farming. So technically speaking, after losing your job, where well, then you will have to stay in a vacant witch's house because it's free, I guess. This game's a farming sim at heart, where you shall build your own garden, grow plants for potions though, and spells, and eventually build friendship with the town folk. Check this out. The Gardens Witch's Life is a PC exclusive and a release date for it is yet to be announced. <laughs> Coming up next, we have the Everdream Valley. Everdream Valley is described as a mix of adventure, exploring, crafting, and farming on a summer holiday. I think it works just like Harvest Moon, only with this somewhat interesting twist, which is in your dreams, you will be able to play the role of animals. Then what you do, obviously in a day or at night, will eventually have an impact on the whole experience. Now check this out. This game is coming to PCs and Switch sometime later this year. Y'all remember Witchery Academy? That Wizard Apprentice life sim announced a while back? Well, the title is now rebranded to Kitori Academy now. Here's the thing, to accompany this news, the fine folks at the company also released a new trailer and said the game's now coming soon, and in addition to its previously announced PC release, also coming to the Nintendo Switch. Check it out. Hmm. Here we have Cocopa's Atlas. Well, basically, we're gonna live the life of Cocopa, which is a cat, ast a cat astronaut. Kind of reminds me of Pigman, to be honest, but there's definitely more. You get to craft, farm, build. There's also gameplay elements inspired by the Breath of the Wild and Animal Crossing. But here's the good news, though. This game is actually fully funded through Kickstarter and possibly coming out in about a month or so.
Coming up at number 5, it's Dinkum, an RPG sim that has a lot in common with Stardew Valley or, well, how it basically started with fishing, farming and uh, town building elements and pretty much in the same vein as uh, Animal Crossing. If not Animal Crossing though, then Harvest Moon. You can play this game in multiplayer though. Dinkum is said to be coming soon in its early access phase through Steam. Check it out. Alright, so remind me if we actually had another game with this same premise, but we have a new Leaf Memories, in which you wake up on the beach of a foreign island, totally unable to recall anything. Was it Rune Factory? Anyway, a new Leaf Memories, which is a farming sim inspired by the classic 3D Harvest Moons, definitely an Animal Crossing, is said to be coming to PCs only in about a couple of weeks from now. Yeah. On the other hand, we have Coral Island, which is actually the most successful farming game funded through a Kickstarter campaign, pledged some like 20 times of its initial goal and all of its plans met as well. So basically for those of you unfamiliar, Coral Island is a reimagined farm sim inspired by the classics with the aim to modernize and make the experience more inclusive than most farming sims in the market. Take a look, this game is coming to PCs and consoles in only a few months we hear. Paleo Pines, on the other hand, is a life sim, obviously inspired by 
the Animal Crossing and Harvest Moon. Although with the aim to, and I quote, to erase the negative stigma of, around dinosaurs, which is if I'm not sure if it's there, but apparently you get to tame these dinosaurs or at least they look pet up. You can ride them though. So anyway, this game is targeting PCs now when a release window for it is yet to be announced. together. Our islands would not be the same without it. Ah, uh, I've just finished your flute. Carved of ancient oak, it sings rich and pure. Now we have songs of Game of Wake, which is currently planned for PCs and consoles for sometime next year, possibly early, as a role-playing game at heart and what's touted as a real living and breathing place that offers a sense of peace and calm kind of mix of a game. Well, you could tell that this one's not much of either farming or crafting, but a life sim, and that even though I've technically speaking I haven't seen the Harry Potter movies, I, I just can't help but think that it's inspired by those movies a lot. So take a look. For years now, and I won't lie, it needs a lot of work, but I know you're up to the task. Most witches had no opportunity to learn the spells you'll be studying here. The island's had its share of troubles in the past, but I've traveled the archipelago north to south, and my heart always finds its way back to Glimmerwick. We have Ranch of Rivershine, which is a horse simulator game at heart, where you get to basically uh, ride, groom, and, and eventually compete in matches with other horses. I, I don't know, if you're just tired of all the cowboys, I guess, and like to try something new, like a horse girl, maybe, this should be the one for, for you. Rivershine's aiming PCs through Steam only and out possibly later this year. We have Shift RPG, which is a pixel art, obviously an RPG as well, where you play the role of a traveling chef, tasked with bringing a once famous restaurant back to its glory days. I'm not gonna lie, this game actually looks really fun. It looks good is what I'm saying, but there's a downside to this. You see, this game is coming to the Nintendo Switch and PCs through Steam, but not this year, neither late this year, but 2023 late. That is almost 2024, so check it out.
Moving on, there's a one and only Cloudscape, an open world action adventure survival game coming to PCs and all major consoles as well, including Switch. Now, interestingly enough, inspired by games such as A Link to the Past, you know, Zelda, Stardew Valley, Animal Crossing, and also Harvest Moon. Now look, this game is already funded four times its initial goal on the Kickstarter and said to be coming out July this year. Check it out. Alright guys, moving on we have Moonstone Island, which is an open world deck builder with over 100 islands to explore. Spirits to seem cute, I mean like tame, crafting to go and secrets to discover. Now this game is basically revolving around these elements and alchemy, which is basically where you get all the amazing discoveries and then eventually build your home with it. Now check this out, this game is coming to PCs through Steam, developers came out and said soonish. Potion Permit is an RPG farming sim that is by an Indonesian studio called Mass Hive Media and not to forget, PQ. Now this game basically lets you play the role of a chemist, so there's not a lot of sword wielding stuff in this one, but there's a lot of brewing, symptom diagnostics, ingredient gathering and curing. Potion Permit's now actually targeting PCs, Switch and other consoles as well and scheduled to come out soon is what they said. And last but not least, guys, we have Pine Lily Village, what's described by its developers as a cozy, magic-themed farming sim inspired by the classics, where you get to grow your farm, complete quests for the local townsfolk, cast spells while you're at it at the dungeons, and level up your skills in fishing, cooking, crafting, and more. But check it out, this game is coming to PCs through Steam, possibly sometime later this year. <laughs> 